Hi everyone, my name is Megan and this is Told Us Love Tarot and this is my very first YouTube video on my very first YouTube channel where I am going to be sharing my tarot readings for the signs. Um, I don't even want to say how often I will be doing it because it's the very beginning and we're just going with the flow because that's how I am. I am the Gemini Meg. That is my handle on TikTok and Instagram. Um, I read tarot intuitively. I identify as an intuitive empath. I have been reading or learning about tarot for the past 10 years. Um, I recently, within the past year, dove very much back into it and found my understandings to be much clearer and intuitive and the more I read for people um, the more I was encouraged to do something like this which is share my gifts and abilities with others I um, was born on June 20th at 10 48 p.m. right before the Sun goes into cancer so although cusps are very controversial I would identify as a Gemini Cancer cusp, which is the cusp of magic. I have been drawn to and knowledgeable about astrology for, I want to say, 20 years. Um, I have memories of reading my horoscope in the paper before going to school, and it was something that was critical for me to do before I could start my day. So I've been drawn to astrology. I've learned um, about the different signs. Um, about birth charts, I will say I am not an expert astrologer and there are wonderful people out there who are much more in depth with it than I am. But I will say that all of my readings, my messages, my insights come to me intuitively and that's why I'm sharing them with you. I have an English degree. I taught English for a while, I would say, for more than a while. I said I had a vivid imagination. I could create these stories and I saw these things and I heard these things and could tell people and had such vivid dreams. And then the older I got, the more I started to understand that not everyone dreams like this, Megan. Not everyone has this random thought pop into their head that they need to share. I realized I was gifted. I realized what I thought was an overactive imagination was actually messages that were coming to me. Since I've begun looking at it and following it as intuition, as gifts, I have shared messages and insights with more and more people that have led me to believe that this is the path that I'm meant to be on, if only to share with at least, as the token says, one person out there if at least one person identifies with this reading as they come across my reading, then that's the message that was meant for them. I've been watching Tarot on um, YouTube for a few years now. I have definitely some favorite um, readers and I'm all about sharing and caring. So you know I'll be name dropping them throughout Butch Tarot. Uh, <laughs> um, I have a TikTok where I share my insights and my knowledge on the cards. Um, I think it's the teacher in me that wants to express and express and not only while I share what I'm seeing, I want to show you so you understand as well. Um, I look forward to reading for everybody and I will say the token message that most readers say before their readings um, if it doesn't resonate with you try check out your other signs if you don't know the other signs in your big three and your Venus you should go to a um, search engine and look up free birth chart type in your information and it will give you your signs and you can look up your rising sign, your sun sign, your moon sign and your Leo sign for insight. And it really does come down to, I could be watching a Gemini reading and 
it has nothing to do with me but when i go watch aquarius which is my rising sign i'm like oh hell that's my message with that minor he double hockey sticks right there this is my disclaimer though that i do say what comes to mind sometimes it's rated r i swear I love language, I'm a communicator, I'm a Gemini, so I'm also a queen of swords, so it's gonna come out how I see it. And I found myself in readings with people saying, I'm really sorry that this is what I'm saying, but I'm just, I'm just saying what I'm seeing. So this is your disclaimer. Um, I've listened to tarot readings online and bawled my eyes out because I thought that message was for me and I just knew it in my gut and soul. So my intentions are always here for love. This is to be told as love. Um, don't come at me if you don't like the message. Go find someone else. I, again, here's the queen of swords coming out here. Um, I read intuitively. No one can tell me my intuition is wrong. No one can tell me that my reading of the emperor this way is wrong when it should be read that way so if you're here to come with that negativity please get your own channel and then you can tell me what you see in the cards with that being said and now that i'm back to being nice megan again i really hope that um I can provide for someone new and beginning messages and insight and I don't want to say education, but a view of reading the cards that maybe that they wouldn't have thought of or you couldn't get from the quote unquote tarot books. Um, I'm a big believer in trying to be a person that my younger self would have looked up to and would have appreciated and a younger Megan would have appreciated someone breaking down tarot little by little with humor and insight for her to learn. When I was learning, it was just dictionary books and what I found on internet pages and having the card come down, reading it in a dictionary once you begin to understand reading intuitively and following your intuition like what do you see in the card the story and the information starts flowing like that so thank you so much for finding my youtube page if you've made it through this whole little video thank you and i applaud you i hope you like my little background for whatever in me my intuition wanted this little campground um view so i have the moon here i have a couple signs perception is our reality because that is insight to keep in mind when considering how other people are viewing you and situations keep it real i actually have this tattooed on me over here i'm a very real person and will always be real with the people that are watching these this these videos I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. This kind of goes back to the disclaimer of, I'm just gonna say what I see, okay? Everything in the universe is within you. Once you learn that lesson, which is on my bookmark right here, you will find that your intuition talks to you louder and louder and louder. And the more you follow your intuition, the more you are starting a YouTube youtube channel because you know in your heart that this is what's meant to happen um i have some trees around me that i've actually made with atlantic ocean sea glass i'm uh unabashedly <laughs> advertising them because my etsy will be coming up soon um this is also sea glass jewelry that i've made and am wearing and will hope to be wearing this is a sea glass ring um i have crystals and stones around me someone once asked me like megan can we go to like the spiritual store and you can show me like what you got and why you got it the only stone that i have that i went into a storm was like i want this was obsidian it's black 
Um, I had been told years ago in order to protect my energy around other people and not absorb so many feelings was to have obsidian with me at all times. Other than that, the um, crystals and stones around me. Ooh, that just went flying. <laughs> I've been drawn to. I don't keep them next to me at all times. I just um, will grab and hold which whichever calls to me. Um, the decks that I'm using today are, and will be using in all my readings, um, the Eight Coins Tattoo Tarot. I learned with the Raider White deck when I was in my mid-20s, um, when I got back into tarot. This, this deck I saw and I thought was really beautiful, and I, then I saw it in a uh, bookstore, so I got it. I've always bought my own decks. I've not been gifted or um, used anyone else's decks. My other deck and usually my clarifier is the Modern Witch, which is essentially a modern version of um, the Rider Waite. Um, great deck to learn with. It's great to have the basic like Rider Waite looking deck like this because Though, like, some of the cards look different on this deck and I have a different meaning over here, it's still good to know what the actual card looks like because that can have something in the back of your mind, too, that reads part of all of this intuitively. Um, what else do I have to say? I guess that's it. I guess that's the ending of my beginning. Here's my two decks. <laughs> I didn't even plan that. I didn't even plan this. What the high priestess at the bottom. Gemini sign at the top. <laughs> this is me right now. Like, thanks for coming. No, seriously, thanks for coming. And whenever you find my videos, you're meant to find them. And um, reach out to me for a personal reading. I would love to read for you. I'd love to make it fun. Let's have fun because this is all told as love. <laughs>